what's going on guys your boy joe six seven two coming to you guys with a video right now so um it seems like and this is from john clark tweeting and obviously cl close source to him of the philadelphia eagles and what he's been hearing uh for a little update for today now it looks like josh mcdaniels the offensive coordinator for the patriots is the main focus on him being the head coach right now for the Philadelphia Eagles, okay? Now, no information other than that, other than they had a very long meeting, longer than the other candidates. A lot was talked about. Josh McDaniels hasn't been offered, you know, head coaching jobs to other teams because, honestly, he burnt a lot of bridges, okay? Head coach for the Denver Broncos, he was fired within a year and a half. Okay, 2018, you know, when he was hired as the head coach, for the Indianapolis Colts and he had a staff all ready to go there his staff went there signed their deals he backed out of it so the Colts were stuck with his staff and obviously it worked out in the long run and Josh McDaniels burned his bridge there so a lot of burnt bridges with Josh McDaniels but um you know I'm not really a big fan of the move but I'm not necessarily upset about the move because the guy's been with the best quarterback in the league and the guy knows how to fire up a QB the guy knows how to fire up a team and uh he holds everybody accountable and he's a fiery guy and you know what I really can't complain about it we have to swallow the pill guys like whoever we get is what we get and we have support but Josh McDaniels isn't the worst especially what we've seen today with guys like John Fossil these other guys that are just these special teams and you know kicker coaches whatever okay that want to get a job here so you got to really look at the big picture and obviously this is a very important year because I think obviously not only for the draft not for free agency and trades and everything like that but this is a very important year to hire a coach like you can't mess this up like you have the sixth overall pick this year like you have a lot to do a lot of cap space to shred apart and get some new guys you make this team a lot younger get rid of some veterans create some cap space get some draft capital and do some good things so josh mcdaniel is not the worst out there as everyone expects him to be i understand that not my favorite either but i could deal with it i could deal with it because of his resume i could deal with it because of who he is his personality i could deal with it because i know that he works with quarterbacks really well and gets them fired up and, and really puts the team fired up. So that's what I got to say about that. Now, obviously, Todd Bowles interviewed yesterday. The rumors there is that the meeting went very well. Um, I don't know. An effective, an attractive candidate for the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't know why he's attractive. His defense, superb. Defensive coordinator is fine. Todd Bowles becomes a head coach. That's where I'm going to be really mad. That's where I'm going to lose a lot of faith. That's where I have no trust in it. After seeing him with the Jets, I couldn't do it. I understand the Jets are a mess. At that time, they were a mess as well. But you know what? I don't think he's head coaching material. He might as well stay in Tampa as a defensive coordinator as of right now. Okay. Now, other news. Deuce Staley apparently is already getting some, I don't know, um, if hired, obviously, it says it re reported by John Clark, uh, Deucedale would have an excellent staff of coordinators and coaches. So he's already got a lot of stuff set up in case he does um, get hired as a new Philadelphia Eagles head coach. So I don't know who those people are. We're not going to find out until if he is hired. Um, you know, that's what all these coaches have to do. Like before they get hired, they need to have an idea of who they want on their staff and what people are going to want to be on his staff. Um, and then, you know, Deuce knows a lot of coaches around the league, so you never know who could be there. Um, but I'm hoping to get a head coach in OC and obviously we need a defensive coordinator, um, you know, for a bit to build this defense back up to where it's supposed to be. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going out there, guys, and they're still interviewing people, and there's still a lot of things, but the big highlight to this whole thing is that Josh McDaniels is the front runner. He is the main focus for the Philadelphia Eagles, and I think with his resume, I think the Eagles have a lot of trust. Obviously, a lot was talked about, okay, because they know that Josh McDaniels like to have a little control over personnel not fair to have a guy like this come in or any coach to come in and have no control at all um that's what Howie and Jeffrey Lurie have to live with sorry but no one could just agree with you all the time 
there's someone else that knows how to make this team better. Just because you own the team doesn't mean you know how to make this team better. It doesn't mean that you know... Doesn't mean you're... You're... You just own the team. <laughs> that's it. Like, you know, bring in your experts. Bring in the guys that want to be here and fix this team. And that's what it's all about. So, that's what I'm getting from all this. Todd Bowles, they liked him very much. Josh McDaniels is the front runner. And if Deuce Staley gets hired, he already has a set bunch of coordinators and coaches ready to be by his side when he becomes the head coach, if he gets hired to be the head coach. So, let me know what you guys think about Josh McDaniels as the front runner, Todd Bowles as a very attractive candidate. Jesus. And <laughs> to Staley already having his staff already prepared and ready. So let me know in the comment section below. I will see you guys later. Chicks went up. Fly outside. Peace out, guys. Peace.